Hi, in this video we are going to see how to pass argument to a Windows program uh, that is a Windows with a, a graphical user interface because we all know how to pass argument to a console program for instance let's uh, test with uh, the color command line tool and we will specify the G option uh, which get us the help to show us how to uh, use the program for instance let's pass to the program uh, for F which specifies the uh, background we want and the uh, front ground of the uh, text in the console which is here uh, uh, for, uh, for red and F for bright white ok let's execute and there we go so now how about windows uh, programs that is a graphical uh, windows programs let's test with notepad uh, this is easy with notepad we just give it the as an argument the name of the uh, file we want to uh, create let's uh, call it uh, test 00 because i believe i have all already test that c in my current directory so let's test that and there we go now it asks us if we want to create that file so now i want to show you the second met method of passing argument to a windows program and to demonstrate that i will use uh, process explorer process explorer is a very useful program and i will i already run it and i always like uh, the process explorer to get uh, started every time i I start Windows so what uh, I do is I come to here to this um, uh, location and I create a shortcut then I, uh, of course I will uh, use the program which is uh, just in my desktop and here I specify uh, forward slash T this will execute the uh, program but it won't uh, show me the interface it just it will just get minimized to the try like this so let's test this uh, okay because i have all already the program so it added this finish and now it has been created let's uh, cancel here and execute this so when i execute it just go to the try it doesn't show me the interface and this is very useful if um, I want uh, a process explorer to start with windows and get minimized to the try so let's get rid of this I just showed you so now the third method to, st uh, to pass argument to a windows program will be demonstrated uh, through a program which we will uh, program ourselves so let's call the program just arc okay we will use vb to program this small application uh, i just need a label so let's uh, double click that and the label will automatically get added and now i double click the form and here what i want to do is just label one dot text equals microsoft dot visual basic dot command and this will give me the uh, argument uh, that we will pass to the uh, program but this will get me all the arguments just in one uh, string but i want to uh, have all the arguments separated and to do that i will add another event to the form which is just click and here i start by declaring a variable as integer and then use a loop e i equals uh, zero to my dot application dot command line arguments dot count minus one and what i want just to show every argument i pass to the program in a message box so ms 
J box and I want my dot application dot command lines arg and I want every argument I pass to the program so it's that simple now we uh, build our solution okay it has been done now I will go here and go to my document then to um, visual uh, studio then to project then to arg then to bin cd arg again then to bin then to debug and here I will pass I will execute the program with the uh, some parameters let's say um, par1 par2 let's execute that and there you see we have our parameters if I click in the form we we'll get the first one then the second one but we all already seen this method of passing argument to a program uh, so the third so how about the third method let's open x explorer here and what I will do is let's grab for instance let's grab uh, what let's grab this here and put it here and there we go we have that as an argument okay and if I click here we get that uh, the uh, location of that uh, shortcut as the argument to the file so i hope that was useful thank you